Mitchell Darby. It is. Um, uh, don't um, trust my knowledge of the tournament too much, Gordon, because I'm old and I forget things very quickly. But yeah, this, this is great. There's a couple of absolute standouts in this tradition team, actually. Um, I think particularly, if I remember rightly, I'll go through the team here. Oh, it's really about, um, the guy to me that I think I'll around watching. Well, good, I can't find his name, but I'll find it in a minute. Yeah, well, they're certain, uh, certainly laden with outstanding players and a lot of youngsters uh, who've yeah, been that, given that, the opportunity to, to that, gain the experience. That's bang on. Now, do you know this tournament, I mean, the players that have debuted here, if you were to actually hear about it, I think the most notable one that's recent because of his high, his high profile god in the Rob Warrior Cup, um, the tight head prop for France. Um, He's, he's 145 kilos, he's yeah. Played, he played here as a 17-year-old. He was over Is that here. Right? He was yeah. playing for Cosway Bay. Yeah. Um, in the, in the 15s, and, and Robbie McRobbie in the Hong Kong Rugby Union had to phone his mother to get permission to play in the first division because he was only 17. And she said, as long as he doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> he came here, he was so good, the French team that were visiting said they wanted to take him, and that's how he ended up there, as the world's highest paid tight head. So the ball's been taken here by tradition YCAC representing Japan, the Yokohama Country and Athletic Club. This is a call we made yesterday, by the way, these strips are very similar. Yeah, it's certainly very uh, colourful, the tradition. Traditionally colourful. And we're 15 metres from the halfway line at the moment. But tradition, who are the defending champions, defeating Samurai last year. Samurai now have changed to Shogun Rugby, so you could say it's a rematch of last year's final. And we're still 10 metres from halfway, but it's all about patience here. It's all about patience and physicality when it gets to this top grade in the Cup. There's all about pace and everything, but they, they win the contacts first. Find a bit of space, and you've got big men out wide who can just do that by breaking a tackle. And this guy's been a superstar all the way through the tournament. This is Pieta. He's also been yes. outstanding. Good, strong support there for the ball carrier. But no mistake so far, so... This is really what the game's all about. Probe for the openings, have that space awareness, and they're going up the middle at the moment. And they've made about 30 metres, so slow and steady wins the race. Good hands here from Pieter again. This is Ufa. He's lost about five or six metres with some... Pretty vigorous defence. But he's kept the ball. That's the one thing I think. Oh, great hands. It's Toby Taylor, far side. So they're about 35 metres out from the goal line. And they've had the ball now for nearly two minutes. I was going to say, probably about 20 faces already. Good support from Church. Young man from St Kittigan, so uh, in New Zealand, famous rugby school. All about ball retention, and now a little bit of room out wide. Number seven here is Matic in support, and that's Ofa again, and that's the goal line ahead. They're very close. Can he get it down? Good counter rucking there from Shogun Rugby. And that's a turnover. It was good because you nearly went, oh, fuck, and he get it down, and I was, I was worried about what you were saying. <laughs> um, but, yes, <laughs> great effort, actually. But that's a, that's a turnover, honestly, after three minutes. That's an amazing passage yeah. of play there, and they come away without any points on the scoreboard, so they'll be looking for a big scrum here. The referees haven't really been soft at all and people turning scrums around unless they drive really hard and straight. So you can basically assume in two teams like this that the putters in will keep it, but we shall see. Surakuru packing Great in the second pressure row. after what I said. That's Great a beautiful pressure. scrum. Yeah. Well, that's forward power there from tradition. And that was what's called the dominant scrum. They've got the turnaround. Yep. 
and we have an outstanding referee here John Bruce we have Carl Dixon who <laughs> refereed the opening Six Nations match in Marseille between Ireland and France this year uh, one of the top English referees he, he turned up to volunteer and, a, and they had him running the line yesterday which I thought was quite decent at football club but yeah it's marvellous that you got a top grade, top grade referee here well, uh, he, at a tournament like this he played here 20 years ago in the tens for one of the local clubs there's a bit of space here and there's the gap finally it comes for Thomas Anderson who plays for Northland in the NPC and that really was about uh, waiting for the right moment more room on the field with the scrum and good feet from the finisher yeah that little bit of extra speed and footwork out wide creating the hesitation now Henry Saker will be attempting the conversion so YCAC with an excellent start that's basically a try after five minutes of possession I mean, basically that, that's where we've been at so it's, it's the turn now of Shogun to try and get the ball and see what they can do with it Getting the ball out wide, into space, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, just backs on backs. Less cluttered field in those open spaces. And this man looks as though he'll be taking no further part in the game. So that really is a, a blow for tradition. Nasty shoulder injury by the look of it. Yeah, so Carl Dixon was a scrum half and uh, played 169 games for Quinns. Yeah. He's only retired about six or seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, and it's actually, I mean, it, the thing about a scrum half is that, believe it or not, more than other referees, they understand the scrum better. Yeah, And absolutely. they also understand the game. No, he's in a good And here's the mass substitutions. I think this is part and parcel of how they've ruled the tournament list, that if you're bringing your forwards on, you have to do it on mass. Yes, you can do it on only one period in each half, and yeah. there's no limit to how many you bring on. You can bring on yeah. one or you can bring on six. If there is an injury, you can obviously substitute, and you can also change at half time. But six players coming on there for Shogun Rugby. Now, can they finally get their hands on the ball? Oh. Uh, and the answer to that is no, but they've got <laughs> the scrum. They have got the scrum, so let's see where we go. So, yeah, finally after... Nearly... What's seven minutes seven and a half minutes of the first half they finally get the ball and then they've got it for a few seconds and they get it in a scrum here and we know what happened with the last scrum they had i think this will be in and out very quickly shogun were founded in 1996 originally the samurai an invitation team and they operate on a, a non-profit basis a mix of amateurs and pros Great work here, but again the defence is up to it. it. Looks as though there's an offside ruling there from the referee. From that scrum, they obviously came up too quickly. No, it's Samurai that are now um, Shogun. They've been great supporters of this tournament over the years. Come nearly every year. Come loaded for bear and sometimes win and sometimes get disappointed. But they always bring a good team. And there's Sofi gaining some good ground. So coming up to the eight-minute mark. And finally, Shogun get their hands on the ball. Can they respond now and, and hold it for these last two minutes and address that scoreboard? They're down by five points to nil. But they're in, they're in the other half, finally. And there's another no, handling knocked error. It on, knocked it on into contact. So two handling errors in this first half. Very uncharacteristic of the Shogun side. But it says something about the physicality, doesn't it, of tradition YCAC's defence. Both of these teams. Um, physicality first, silky skills second, actually. And it's how you win top grade tens. You don't win it playing seven or eights. 
Kyle Preston. He scored the opening try in the quarterfinal against H Hong Kong Football Club. Likes to run. And we're just short of the halfway line here. It's Tomatene. The turnover's good. There's a brilliant low tackle there by Emil Vaonga. And just an unfortunate accidental offside leading to the penalty there. Just ran into his own man. Quick clearance there by Suakuru. Who has been outstanding throughout this tournament, actually. Referee says the ball was knocked back. Shogun have regained. But they've been pretty well suffocated so far. They're looking to come wide here on his giving them the chase. Sweeper nah, back here for made that easy for YCAC. Toby Taylor just short of the halfway line. Colosse showing good leg drive. Through the legs. Through the legs to the touchline. Yes. Ala Noah Nandruku back in 1990 <laughs> to Tomasi Thama. You're just showing you've not where lost your memory. Where was Tomasi? Yeah, where was Tomasi? <laughs> That's the half-time score. It was a uh, but the Certainly legends, a, the legends are in town, though, Gordon, because we were, I was at the Dotty dinner last night with a charity dinner, and I've got a picture of my wife with um, Serebi and Michael Liner in the oh, taxi wow. ride. You know, it's, yeah. it's not bad that you can socialise with the lads like that. Well, you know. an Australian rugby immortal and uh, the king of sevens, yes. probably the greatest sevens player of all, do you think? Waisali Serebi? It's, be, it's very hard to judge Jim yeah. their generations, but yeah. he dominated the period he played it. Uh, I think it's a real problem. I don't think DuPont's at the, at the Hong Kong Sevens with the French team because he's spectacular at yeah. Sevens. I mean, absolutely so. But look, this is... Um, I love the Tens because it, it just brings the big players, the big players, the guys that can get their hands through a tackle, they can make the space for... And we've still got the lightning quick players as well. But It's it's that balance, isn't it, between the, the Sevens and the Tens? And conversations we have had in the past when we used to host Weedy and McGee and over I think maybe seven or eight years ago when tens was really beginning to flourish and we thought it would grow more obviously it's harder to play a big tens tournament yeah. it takes more time because he he was very much of the opinion that it should be the development game for your 15 a side game yeah because it's just it brings in the whole skill set but obviously as I say playing a big tens tournament just takes a long time or a lot of pitches you know well, it's, it's interesting, uh, a lot of the women's teams are playing 10s in Australia. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're now very much involved with the clubs at country and city level. I, I think it's a bit, once again, when your numbers initially are a bit shorter, you can get teams out playing 10s, you can have the depth. But I think the women's, the women's rugby here is phenomenal. The skill set, you can see it every evening from 20 years ago when, frankly, we had a few Westerners mm -hmm. trundling about very slowly. The yeah. skill set, frankly, at times is better than the men's because they're better... They, they play more to a structure. It's really great to see. And yeah. they listen to the coaches. Well, someday, I don't, <laughs> they, I don't know if China Pais and I want to listen to their coach because he gives them an awful hard time. <laughs> Tradition YCAC. With a nicely floated kick. And Rhodes Featherstone was there under the high ball. Let's see if Shogun can eliminate those little errors they made when they had the ball because their opponents, tradition, YCAC, have pretty well been mistake-free so far, certainly with the ball in hand. And here's a, a chance up towards halfway. Strong running there by Northcote Hill. He looked wide and decided he didn't fancy the big fella one in one. He could have given it here. Again, another turnover. Did the right thing and then just forced the pass gone where he didn't need to. And credit to the defence as well. Oh. Just forcing the error. Quick switch of play. Defence is equal. Akiri. The county's winger. During the 18 jumper. 
Perić here. Yeah, brilliant. Very happy to work. round the outside in this game, Gordon, I'll tell you. Back for an offside penalty again, I think, though. Well, when you've got um, such skillful defenders, too, with pace and power, you know, it's very hard to find any space at all. And that's where the, the, the speed side comes into it, and the footwork, as we saw with the opening try. And it came from the, from the set piece as well, with less defenders out in the open. So but there's a um, first mistake then. Shug Shogun are back, have come into this in the last two or three minutes, though. Um, they're in the game, and it's now a case of who can execute, I think. Obviously, it's a case of who can execute, but they, they, they seem to have got themselves with a level. Mistakes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Carl Dixon really has allowed this game to flow nicely, as you'd expect from a, a man of his calibre. Referee. And that's a far better scrum from Shogun. That's the 22 metre line ahead. And they have to retire 10 metres, which they did. And they've lost the ball again. Again, pushing the pass. He's got it ripped off of me. Just, it's all very well to go quickly, but you've hmm. got to have your runners with you. Oh, Brown's important. The referee looks like he might be signalling that he played him in the air there, but I thought <laughs> he timed it well, the tackle. Cameron Church did very well. Ball to Fafita. Too quick to scurry yeah, back yeah. in defence. Stadium announcers of opinion it was. He, he caught him in the air actually going through there. Always very hard to be a defender in that situation because mm -hmm. he's at pace coming down on you. And if you actually let him land, he's probably beating you as he hits the ground. Well, this is certainly, it's, it's cutthroat. We've got six and a half minutes remaining, and a converted try would put Shogun in the lead. Tradition have defended well so far, though. Oh, almost intercepted. And the, the, other, the other big aim is to stay on your feet, and again, the referee spotted uh, a that, yellow card here. Yeah, it's a penalty, a, a yellow card. Tip tackle. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah yellow card to number six from Shogun Sophia Maka. From North Harbour. He's in the uh, Auckland Blues wider squad, the S Samoan winger. Samoan heritage. This power play now, though, from tradition, might be absolutely critical at this stage in the game. Seika trying to step his way through. Here's big Pieta. Some of the experienced players likely to come in. Now, there's a big, nice big step off the right foot there by Sam Clark. And that's careless play there by tradition YCAC. And... Um, Roll, ro rolling subs come on in force. <laughs> yeah, it's like the little big horn, I'm telling you. They come <laughs> over the hill. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a that's a great turnover penalty to Shogun. Just take the pressure, pro kick for touch here, kill 30 seconds with the line out, get their player back on. You know, and then they've got five minutes to get to get that score. Yeah, just that very careless pass out wide by uh, YCAC. Ball actually went over the touch line. And that's given the opportunity for Shogun now to take advantage. Will earn rest. The, the temperature's cooled a little bit, though. There's a nice breeze prevailing, and this is the biggest crowd we've seen so far. Yeah, it's always, you always want a bit more. But being a public holiday today has helped. It's unusual to have the public holiday in the tents, and the stand should fill up later on. It's, uh, but I mean, where it's actually noticed, you'll notice the, the sportsman's bar, end of the bar, is absolutely crowded. So Shogun. To take play um, over the halfway line, as suggested by John Bruce, and now a chance to attack. 
Tradition, the sponsors of the tournament, the Tradition YCAC, Tradition is Asia's leading inter-dealer brokerage forum. And Adrian Bell, the CEO Asia Pacific of the group, is the water boy. <laughs> That's a big carry. It is not. Now, who's got the legs? Man in front here is Preston. And has been running near time the players back on from that yellow card. But Shogun down the right end of the field. In front of sequence corner, here we go. Just over three minutes remaining. One try the difference. A very important line out here for YCAC. Uh, Shogun got up for that. Oh, that man was on the ground. Carl Dixon are judging that Shogun had offended there. It was touch and go. There was bodies in the ground, but... It was bouncing uh, around like a pinball, yeah. wasn't it? Get out of jail for tradition, I think. Well, that's a re timely relieving penalty for tradition. The Yokohama Country and Athletic Club is Japan's oldest sports club. Formed back in 1866. The rugby club is one of the ten oldest uh, active rugby clubs in the world. But they're inside their 22 at the moment. And some open space. I'm just going to trust the defence here. It's a good bounce. And the ball shadowed over the touchline. So that's a, a gain of nearly 50 metres. Using the, that swirling breeze. A bit hard to tell which way it's going at the moment. One and a half minutes to go. They're playing for a place in the cup final. In the tradition, Hong Kong Football Club 10s. The 36th edition. The penalty goes for YCAC. I thought that would have been a short arm penalty. It doesn't make much difference. You just tap it anyway. Somehow Shogun have got to get the ball back. They've got to get a turnover. Big run by Tungiri. Lucky Takiri. Cameron Church, little slight overlap, it closed. Sam Clark did well to set up, five metres from the goal line. Here's the penalty. Isolated. Last penalty, Shogun. Last throw of the dice here for Shogun. And he's walked on ten metres as well. Are we going to see a dramatic finish here from Shogun Rugby? I'm very honest, actually, Shogun haven't looked like I'm making a line break all game. Uh, my mind is, and both teams have struggled, so... But there's their chance, when the ball off the line out, 60 metres to go. Well, when these two sides met in the final last year, it was 7-0 in favour of uh, YCAC, only one try. And the interesting thing about Shogun is they've conceded only one try in this whole tournament. Oh, yeah, they've been dominant all Just Just get it, sorry, finals. Knockout rugby, it just gets tight and, and, and all pressure comes to bear. Time's up on the clock. And it's a poor line out throw. It's been taken away by Cameron oh Church, the 22 year old, and here's a chance. Well, oh, the referee's seen a high tackle. That was a high tackle there. Yeah. Well, what a mistake. Dear, oh dear, the game was in the vault. There for YCAC, there's an overlap and they've thrown it away, but there's still a penalty. Still penalty advantage. advantage yeah. And they're keeping the ball alive. And the referee was smiling, he's really enjoying this. And the advantage penalty is still there. Last ditch opportunity here for Shogun. He had to call it. Cut. 
So they're a man down. Here we go. Yellow it card. Is where your coaching comes into it. You've got an extra man, last play of the game. Uh, do they? I think they'll tap. I don't think they'll risk the line out. Yeah, they're going to tap. Ten men on nine. They've got to score a try. And if they can get it close to the post, even better. Can tradition hold on? There's the gap. And they're going to have to try. kick. They're going to have to kick the conversion from the touch line to move into the final. I'm just looking at I'm looking at the Shogun bench, and there's some very happy and relieved faces there. But I wouldn't want to be the kicker. Well, it's going to be five metres, four metres in from the touch line, and it's a drop kick. So this is the the ultimate pressure kick, and we go to sudden death extra time. Yeah, Gordon, he's going to make it. Okay. My money's on it. This is not a commentator's curse from you, is it, John? It looks good. He's done it. He's made it. You well, call well, it. Uh, and, and look at the joy in the faces there. They've beaten the holders uh, and the bench in front of us for the tradition. Uh, I've been brilliant this tournament. Absolutely gutted. Let's be honest. They bought that game until the last two minutes. Well, they had a flawless first half, but the errors really cost them dearly in the second half. That's a heartbreaker there for Tradition YCAC from Japan, the Yokohama Country and Athletic Club, because Shogun Rugby have done it in the death, in injury time, getting a late penalty, and what a drop kick it was. You could see that, that's, that's pressure, and it was always going over. You know, he, he must have been happy when he struck that. You know? Oh, boy. Um, so, I mean, it's always sad to see a team go out that's played so well, but great tournament again from tradition. Absolutely great tournament. And um, I know the team behind Shogun, they'll be so happy to make the final. Absolutely. Yes, well, tradition's had a, a marvellous tournament, and... Only a couple of points in it at the end. It was 7-0 in the final last year and 7-5 to Shogun Rugby. And so they advanced to the final in 2024. And they'll be playing the winner of Pig Athletics Barbar Barbarians and Ashbury Tropics. Yeah, and I, would, I think I would say, Gordon, that the surprise package of the tournament have been the Pig Athletic Club Babas. Yeah, they, they've, they're they've physical, big, but they've, they've got some wheels as well. Um, they've obviously got a Scotsman as well, Lou, Luke van der Smit. <laughs> so got, uh, yeah, you know, that well-known Scottish name, you've heard one or two yeah, of that. That, we, that's right. that, that we, the, we, we lent to South Africa for a few generations. Yes. 